Oh look, Garar is running away. The other alpaca proved to be too much for Garar. Okay, Cassin, are you able to urgently treat Landale as well? He's probably bleeding from the asshole because of that fight. There's lots of bruises. Lots of bruises from both Garar and an alpaca. Okay, Garar can just s silently go nuts out in this field, I guess. What what do I do with these people when they go on a on a rampage? What what happens? Like what what's the best thing to do to overcome that? Hey Toxo, what are you doing to that alpaca? He's trying to have sex with it. I knew it. I knew he would try to. Okay, Landale is feeling a little bit better. Right. Okay. Now we have some meats. But we don't have any fuel for the stove. Um, even though we do have a lot of wood out here that's not being hauled right now. So nobody is up for hauling any of that wood. Okay, Garar is feeling better. Good. Tigos, nice. I see you. I will hunt you and dress you up in frilly dresses. I will kidnap you and feed you porridge like the baby you are. Your small dick will traverse the galaxy to find alien life. Nice. You will be my bitch. JK Lul. Ninja, thanks very much. Teagles, um, let me know if you feel threatened by that. Because if I was you, I would. Um, and if you feel like a bit shitty about it or whatever, don't worry. We'll fucking ban him. No problem. I'll ban him. Personally. Because I'm a mod. <coughs> uh, also, the owner of the channel. Turns out. So there's that too. Um, okay, it is uh, minus 21 outside. Still cold. Um, our wood situation is not very good. BW is probably going to die. His health is okay, actually. Um, but he's, uh, he's really having like a bit of a fucking episode here. He's urgently hungry. He's very joy deprived. I don't know why he doesn't just play some horseshoe like everybody else. But whatever. I guess maybe he just wants to play chess or something instead. Because he's like some sort of fucking intellectual or something. I don't know. But anyway. Um, the smart guy that he is. He's in some sort of weird daze. And he's wandering around outside in minus 23 degree weather. So there's that. Landale. A real trooper is back out here. All bandaged up. Um, has been treated for minor flu. And is right back on wood chopping duties. Make him go get the taters. I don't think I can. He's just fucking... He's out for the count. Alpaca 2 has died because of malnutrition. Oh god. <laughs> That's not good. Uh... Merry Christmas. It's, it's been a rough winter. It's been... It, and it's still not ended. Even though we've made it to the spring. It's not warming up, and we can't grow anything, and we're dead. We're, we're probably going to die. Let's start getting the growing zone for the, these trees set out. Like, let's just have a huge tree growing zone here. Like, right here. Okay. This is going to have in it some birch pine trees. Pine trees are going to be better, right? Pine trees are going to be much better because they can survive in the winter as well. Perfect. That's gonna be huge. That's gonna be much needed. Is it fucking snowing again? It's a gentle snow. Oh god, everybody's gonna be so fucking cold. Holy crap. Alright, well we better build some campfires, I guess. At the very least in some of the production rooms. Um, uh, we should probably build some in these rooms too, actually. Is that one? That's one due to be built. Oh shit, we need one in Polly's room too. Polly cannot survive on his own. Polly could die here. Trivial malnutrition. Hey Toxo, can you feed Polly? Yeah, nice. It's gonna feed him some nutrient paste. Nice. Man, sustaining life is fantastic, isn't it? Is BW feeling better? Yeah, yeah, he is. All right. Prioritize refueling the the stove so we can make some meals. We're out of food completely. Okay, good. Caro. Wake your ass up. Get cooking. 
Jeez. You got work to do. Wait, we got what the hall? We got fucking BW? You gotta start working on some of this shit. You gotta go pick up some of this wood and start working on, on this stuff. I know you're feeling a bit crazy or whatever, but we're out of food. We're out of food and we're out of heat as well. We haven't been prioritizing properly at all. Oh look, he's going to get some more wood. Good. Alright. It's good. It's only minus 9 degrees outside now. It's like a... It's still proper snow, but it's like more of a rainy snow, I think. Oh, fuck, we've almost got electricity now, too. Like, we're getting really close. We can just hold out for a little bit longer. We should be fine. Okay, what's this? Why is there caribou meat inside this house? That's really gross. Okay, let's also prioritize hauling this alpaca so that it can be cut up into sweet meats. Okay, nice. Good job, BW. BW is holding it down. He's had a little bit of a... Look, BW is making himself feel better with the horseshoes. Okay. Alright, Vance, can you fucking haul some wood? No? That would be really helpful. I guess Vance is not up to it. Vance is a Labrador Retriever who will follow Master while the Master is drafted. Follow Master while the Master is doing field work, hunting or taming animals. Alright, Vance. We got Vance and Polly left from the original crew. And Izel as well. We've lost a lot of animals. We've had to, um, of course... Um, oh... Wait, that other alpaca is under Toxo's um, rule now as well. Oh look, Toxo is feeding potatoes to the to the muffalo. Oh, that's really good. And but fucking Toxo is like an MVP as well, isn't he? He's been around forever. He's saved like so many people too. Polly, how are you feeling? Very good. Nice. Hey, Naughty182, thanks very much for the sub as well. Welcome. Polly is still alive, yeah. Polly has no limbs whatsoever. Or ears, or nose, or jaw. Merry it was Christmas. all lost to frostbite, but Polly is still somehow alive. We have to, like, mush up pizza into a paste and um, slowly let it, like, drip into uh, Polly's mouth for Polly to eat. That's just how it works. Okay, we have one meal left. Wait, do we need to do some hunting? Yeah, we definitely need to do some hunting. We also need to cut all of these trees which i hope somebody is thinking about maybe doing and then as soon as the weather is nice we've got to plant some trees where are all I've this been laughing so hard during your youtube series of this game thank oh, you for that no problem Smile. no problem lights and thanks very much for the uh, donation i appreciate it the containment unit thanks for the two month resub um I hear at this time of the volcanic winter, Merry it's a have you ever had Yorkshire meat? I hear at this time of the volcanic winter, it's a delicacy. Kappa. My M. Hoyle UK. Thanks for the sub as well. I'm not butchering Polly, okay? Polly is alive but Merry incapacitated. Christmas. But she's fine. She's resting. Always resting. Her eating is very poor right now. She has no hearing or movement abilities, sadly. Um, and we're not able to give her a peg leg or anything like that either, sadly. Wait, is this thing dead? Yeah, it is fucking dead. How could we not fucking BW? Get the fuck out here and haul this fucking dead dough. Damn. Garar, what the fuck is wrong with you? Major flu? How? Oh, jeez, Garar's about to fucking die. Oh, God, she's gonna fucking die. Look at this. Okay, it's been treated anyway. Toxo is... No, Toxo, don't you fucking dare do that. Are you crazy? Prioritize refueling the wood stove so that Carol can actually make some shit. Okay, now you you cook some shit. Toxo almost fed Garar some raw meat. Disgusting. That's fucking disgusting. Okay, now you can prioritize feeding Garar, who's probably not feeling too good because of the flu. Might even 
barf up this food that we feed her, but still. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, how's the Huntsman doing? He's got major flu as well. For Christ's sake. Merry Christmas. Come. Oh wait. He's got he's got major flu. We're gonna have to treat this major flu. Who else is getting who's got major flu? Caro does. Toxo does not. BW does not. Landale does not. Huntsman does. Ka and Cassin is fine as well. Okay, Caro needs to be treated now too. Merry Christmas. All right, Caro, you're gonna have to seek help soon. Can you? You can't rest in in your own bed. It has to be a medical bed, right? All right, Caro, you keep working. Stay strong and keep working. Hopefully, Huntsman will recover from the flu. How's Gerard doing with the flu? Okay, it's treated at least. Toxo is now feeding Huntsman. This is good. We're completely out of food. All right, we'll have to slaughter the other alpaca. It's come down to this. Look, Toxo is... Oh, my... Didn't, didn't butcher the, are you, developed immunity, good, okay, now, will you please, get on it, Garar, we gotta butcher these things up, for Christ's sake, even though half of it's been eaten by Polly, what in the fuck, <laughs> it's insane. Oh wait, those, 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 oh yeah, there's those potatoes out there. Why aren't those potatoes being hauled? Is nobody gonna haul those potatoes? Carol's having to walk My gapping Valgrovagi orbits the small moon on the outer edge of the Andromeda galaxy. It wanders the void like a majestic goddess of STDs. Okay, I'll it tell you what. It for a small, we don't gangly have to do dick this. in the wasteland of space. Behold, it has found alien life. Prioritize. Um, okay, Huntsman. Fucking, can you haul this wood? That would be handy, actually. We desperately need some hauling to occur. Severe illness in Huntsman. Yeah, I know. That's fine. He's he's being cured as we speak. Garar should be feeling a bit better now as well, actually. It's got immunity to the flu. Oh, and where's Caro? Caro, you're gonna have to fucking rest up and get treated. Stop hauling potatoes. Jeez, BW is still beavering away on this stupid fucking shack. Toxo is feeding all of our potatoes to the... Don't... Oh my god. Oh my lord. Yeah, okay, Caro. Caro is severely ill as well. All right, Toxo, you're going to have to come over here and treat Caro. There. You're going to have to treat her and feed her. She's the only person who can cook in this stupid fucking place. I mean, Cass in the game dev will do it at a push. But she's busy busy beavering away on the electricity, which is also pretty, pretty fucking important, it turns out. Extreme flu and trivial malnutrition. Okay, Cassim, you're gonna have to fucking prioritize cooking. You have to come off the research now. We need we need you to cook up some nice food for Caro to eat because she's got some malnutrition and she's also dying of the flu. Wait, where are these potatoes? Oh shit, watch out, there's a timber wolf here. Maybe it'll self-tame. That would be fucking sweet actually. 
can we please just haul these potatoes? Okay, good, Cassin. Good, good job. And Toxo is going out to haul these potatoes as well. This is nice. I, I can't believe we survived this whole winter and now we're at risk of fucking starving and dying. Like, we're low on medicine, we're low on food, we're starving, we can't do shit. And because this fucking weather is just so brutal. It's still minus seven outside. This volcanic winter has royally fucked us. Okay, here we go. Now, Toxo, wherever you are, you can prioritize feeding Caro. Landale, you're gonna have to come out here and fucking not haul. Okay, that's fine. BW, you're the guy, right? You can haul the potatoes. Huntsman, can you haul the potatoes? Yeah. Toxo, no. Garar, you can haul potatoes. Right? Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Let's get all these potatoes hauled in, team. We can do it. Is this our alpaca? Yes, it is. Okay. How much longer does the volcano thing last? I have no idea. I really don't know. Uh, Codmir, thanks for the sub. J Roll, thanks for two month three sub. Hildebrand, thanks for the sub as well. And Knit Ninja, thank you very much for the donation as well. I appreciate it. Make kibble for Polly and the shit pets. I can't. I have no fucking food for people, let alone stupid pets. I'll make some kibble when we're like back flush with, you know, ingredients and stuff. But right now we have nothing. The, the hunting is no good. There's no fucking hunting to be had. Uh, that Those potatoes are the last of the food that we have. Everything else is gone. And I think it's because we probably were training animals the whole winter long as well, which was not the best. Look, there's not a single living thing out here right now. We killed everything. Look, they're all dead. <laughs> they're... All these corpses out here from that toxic fallout, which happened this winter as well. It was awful. We have to haul all this wood in as well. You gotta okay. kill a pet. Caro, are you okay? Caro's been treated. I'm not killing a pet. Okay, you know what? I am gonna kill a pet. I'm gonna slaughter this alpaca. And we do have a couple of meals coming up though. At least we're warm as well. Ish. Hey Sipsy, hi Sips, hi Dad. Sadly, my real dad is dead. Almost a year now. No Been way. a while since I last heckled you in bits message. Oh. You're still a C U N T and a P U five five years. Well, oh, thanks. Sorry about your dad, man. I I didn't realize that he's been dead for like a year. That sucks. You must miss him a lot. Your dad. People need a dad, whether you like it or not. It's important. Dads teach you cool shit, like how to be good at Rim World and stuff like that. Poor Cass. Hello, Sips. Hello. I was just watching your Sims stream and noticed your sweet Misfits t-shirt and got all excited because the Misfits are my favorite band. What's Word. your favorite Misfits song? Are you a dancing guy or a Graves guy? I like to eat Vaseline on toast. Thanks. Bubble Boner 69, what's my favorite Misfit song? I don't know. I like Hybrid Moments. I think it's a good song. Um, I like I like Teenagers from Mars. It's a pretty good one as well. Um, I don't know. I don't I, I don't listen to them that that much. Um, but they're okay. Pretty good. Pretty good the old Misfits. That they're like an old band though. I don't even think they're together anymore, or even alive, actually. Like, uh, you're, you're talking a long time ago here. A really long time ago. But thanks very much for the bits. And German Patriot, thanks for the bits, too. And Abercrombie, thanks for the bits. And also, Jacob, thanks for the donation, too. I know you're from Ottawa, but do you know any good places in Western Canada? Near the Rockies? Um... Good places? Like, what do you mean? Good places for what? A chunk of spacecraft has fallen from space and landed nearby. This is good. It's minus 13 degrees outside. Garar is prioritizing shoveling snow above all else. Keeping the whole place nice and tidy. Good job, Garar. Good job. That's what we need. Snow clearance. We need to... The blood. 
Don't worry about... Yeah, there we go. Don't worry about butchering this animal to make meals, Garar. That's fine. Somebody else can do it. It's, it's absolutely fine. Okay. It's only minus nine. Maybe today is the day where the snow finally melts. And we can start planting things and doing stuff. <laughs> My daughter is just like doing some fucking dance in front of the window. <laughs> She's just like falling over to doing a dance. To take my uncultured ass to. To take your... Oh, J-Roll, you want to take your uncultured ass to somewhere near the Rockies. Um, I mean, go to... Like, honestly... Calgary is a pretty nice city. And is pretty close to the Rockies. And, well, I mean, you get to Banff in like an hour in Calgary. And Banff is worth seeing it's really nice it's like really picturesque it's in the rockies it's a big ski resort but it's got like a nice little town and stuff that you can go shopping in and spend the day there if you want fucking you know eat lunch there and, and do some shit like that um so i'd say calgary's a pretty good shout um i mean vancouver as well is very close to the rockies and it's a bigger city and um it's pretty nice too so you can go there but honestly, I would recommend Calgary. Uh, like, there's there's probably, like, a bit... It's it's less busy, and there's probably a bit more to see. Like, there's the Olympic Village from, like, the Winter Olympics in the 80s. That reminds me, actually. Do you guys remember this fucking song? Winter... Calgary... Calgary Winter Olympics... Theme song. Oh, shit. Here we go. Okay. Is this the one? from Calgary 1988. Okay, ready? This is so fucking good. I remember this from when I was a kid. It's like, it, it fucking, every, every time the Olympics came on, it opened with this song. It was so fucking good. That everybody would go nuts and be like, yeah, fucking ski! stuff it was so good you like this one where's the Minecraft videos um on Duncan's channel <laughs> non-stop wall to wall Winter Games, official Olympic theme from Calgary, 1988. Anyway, there you go. In case you were wondering what the theme song for the 1988 Calgary Winter Olympics was. That was it. That was pretty fucking good. Back in 1988. I was eight years old. Oh shit, we got some milk! Don't let Vance drink that milk! Pull it in and make some food! Oh! Signs of life are appearing! It's only minus- Who's this? It's Z- Okay, yeah, that's the Molotov cocktail guy. We haven't lost anyone, right? Okay, we're good. Holy shit! It, it's- It's happening! It ain't that cold outside! If you can believe that. Fuck. Okay. This is good. You didn't watch him. I don't care about Winter Olympics. I'm not a Canadian. Fair enough. I mean, it's not for everybody. Some of us do like the Winter Olympics, though. And I'd ask you, please, to respect that. If you can, possibly. Butcher the Raiders? I'm not fucking butchering these Raiders. I'm going to butcher those Raiders, and people are just going to be fucking upset. Because they had to butcher people and eat their human flesh. Nobody wants to do that shit, okay? Nobody wants to eat human flesh. Nobody wants to butcher a dude. Least of all me, I do not- I'm not that guy. Merry I'm not the Christmas. guy who's butchering a guy, okay? That's like a Jeffrey Dahmer thing. And that's not me. And he ate them as well. He ate their dicks and everything. It was really gross. If you want to find out more, don't read the Wikipedia page on Jeffrey Dahmer, actually. It's really fucking upsetting and gross. He, like, tried to zombify people and- fuck them and then eat their dicks and stuff it was really sick he got killed in jail because people were scared of him because he was so fucking sick i'm not eating the raiders okay i refuse no amount of badgering is gonna make me butcher these raiders and eat them they're gonna just rot out there that's what they deserve for trying to attack our fair town yeah 
Huntsman is a psychopath? Oh, come on. He is not, is he? Is he actually a psychopath? He's physically sensitive. He's steadfast. He's trigger happy. He's incapable of being scary or mining. He's not a psychopath. What are you talking about? He's sleeping. He's fine. He's not a psychopath at all. Wait, where did this come from? Garar by Green. Wow, okay. I mean, I guess we just install this in BW's room. Have a major break risk coming up in Landale, as usual. Landale, of course, is still um, addicted to wake up. No signs of... She's 73% rehabilitated, apparently. But it's still taking some time. The rehabilitation weaning off that... Hey, Toxo is standing on a dead man's corpse to play horseshoe. Interesting. Oh, man, when? Are we, we need to grow some heel root? Like, we... When is this fucking snow gonna melt? Jeez. Spring. Just let Landale go crazy. Is there a way that we can... Wait. Is there a way that we can incarcerate Landale ahead of Landale going crazy? Is that possible? I would like that a lot. I need these slate tiles to finish off my super barn. We're gonna deconstruct all of these fucking weird walls so that we can do it. We're gonna get BW on the case. It's gonna be good. Um, Akram 2k, thanks for the sub. And Mondi00, thanks for the bits. If I enclose the geothermal vent and attach it to a building, you get a free heater. Do I ever look at the art on the tombs of your Fallen in your Rimworld series? Yeah, I think I do, yeah. I, the Svetlana one, I'm Merry pretty sure Christmas. I read it at some point. Poor Svetlana. She was just such a good worker and such a good person. Oh, is it? Are these new? It's only minus five outside right now. What was the last time we've been, we were raided? It's like a while back, right? Still... Okay, floors, limestone tiles, stretch down here, nice. This is good, look at how fast they move when they're on these tiles. They keep them swept up and stuff too. It's pretty good, it looks nice. It's getting there, slowly. We're gonna have to start building bigger rooms for people. Um, oh my god, we have a lot of wood now too, this is good. Are there any animals out there to kill? Look, people are actually doing the shit that they need to be doing. This is good. Is there anything out here that we can kill? Are there any potatoes left? There's a fucking wolf here, but... I don't really want to fucking mess with that wolf. I mean, we could get... What was that? A rat. I'll take it. Maybe that's the first signs of true spring. The rats are out. Mmm. Rat souffle for dinner, everybody. Mmm. Can't wait. Can't wait to sink my teeth into some... Hot rat. The geyser itself heats you up, does it? How do you get a free heater, though? You enclose it with what? Oh, you, like, enclose it and put a roof over it. And you get... What? Will that be superheated air, though? I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with the superheated air. I don't care for it much. I don't want superheated air. I've had some bad experiences in the past. Pong, 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 pong. Who's doing that hammering at this, at this? I can't believe how many dudes we have. I can't believe we've almost survived this. We're really low on food now, though. Where's our next source of food going to come from? Hi Sips, be watching you since your dig and rig series. Almost 10 years, nice to see what you became since the awkward gamer. Since the awkward gamer? But I'm, are you saying I'm not awkward anymore? Thanks Saints Fan 6. Uh, thanks for saying I'm not awkward anymore. I appreciate that. Uh, Blazing Arrows, thanks for the sub as well. Welcome. 
and thank you. Awkward gamer. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm an awkward Merry um, Christmas. father and husband as well. Did you know that? Super awkward. People say hi to me and I'm just like... I don't respond and stuff. It's super awkward. Hey, Landale. Okay, let's do a health check on everybody. Make sure nobody is dying of like Ebola or anything. Garar is almost um, completely withdrawn from Smoke Leaf. Looks like nobody else has any major... Okay. Landale is still addicted to wake up and is working through that. Okay, everybody's healthy. But everybody's going to be starving pretty soon because there's just no food left on the map at all. And I, I'm struggling to grow stuff. Like, what's the... See, like, here, when you, when you go over it, the, it's still cold. Like, what if I enclose... I've got a lot of... What if... Okay, let me try something here. What if I go... What if I make a wooden wall around Merry here? Christmas. And then, like, here to here. Oh, do you know what? I'm not fucking doing this. I'm not doing it. I, 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 even if it works, it, it's probably a bit cheaty, right? It'd be too hot in there. It'd be like a, we could make like our own tropical rainforest, right? With all that heat and moisture and stuff, but we shouldn't. You know, it's not, it's not Project Genesis, is it? We're, we're just trying to, we're trying to make a colony of people survive and we might have to resort to eating human beings. Okay, Sergeant Luddite here is missing 25% of his body parts. Um, his head has been bitten off. His left arm has been shot off. His left leg has been bitten off. And I think that possibly that's thanks to Polly. Look how clean this place is. Like we've run out of jobs almost. We've also run out of food though. I don't know where we're going to get any food. We're gonna have to start killing Polly, I think. Oh shit. The people deserve a sauna? Still need a sun lamp? Yeah, I need a sun lamp to fucking grow shit. That's true. You're right about that. You're absolutely right. Alright, well, I think we're gonna have to kill this timber wolf. We're gonna need G Garar out here and the huntsman as well. And have to help each other because this thing could turn around and bite them both. But this could be our only source of meat. Oh shit. But hang on. Okay, we're gonna get that one too. Alright, guys. Over here. Together now. Work together. Shit! Is no! fishing possible in this game? If not, is there a fishing mod for when everyone dies and you start over? I don't know, man. I hope so. Okay, Huntsman, open fire. Garar, take cover behind this bush. And now open fire. Bam! Bang! Boom! He's raging! Garar, shoot! Don't miss! Oh, Huntsman. Okay, you know what? I mean, come on! Oh, for... I fucking hate this game. Huntsman, you're a fucking useless. What the fuck? Shoot the fucking dog. They, why can't anyone in this game aim for shit? All right, Carol. It's, it's up to you. You're going to have to come out here and you're going to have to help Huntsman take down this timber wolf. BW, you're going to have to rush out here and rescue Garar as well. Unfucking real. Nice. Look at this. Hunt. Okay, so the damage to the wolf is as follows. Its nose has been shot off. Its rear left leg has been shot off. And its rear right paw has also been shot off. It's gonna die in nine hours time. Its body is bruised. BW is about to get eaten by the wolf. All right, BW, just fucking run away, okay? Carol, 
You come out here and you finish off this dog, okay? And rescue these people from, from the the timber wolf is looking for revenge now. It's it's unfucking believable. It's unbelievable. Okay, don't rescue this timber wolf. Come out here and execute the timber wolf. And in the meantime, please rescue. Okay, it looks like people are coming out to rescue these people. But possibly wait, is that you talk so? Cassin? Cassin, what are you doing? Okay. Perfect. Now, Carol, please continue shoot. Play something less infuriating, like the Battlegrounds Kappa. I mean... Hey, baby. I missed you, been a while, had some health issues, but I'm better now. I just saw that Barry Manilow came out as gay and I had to come let you know about it. Much love, stop shooting doggos. <laughs> Why did they carry a body out here? I don't get it. Okay, Huntsman. How are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. 14 hours left to live. 18 hours left to live. Okay. Who's 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 out and who isn't? Uh, um, where is fucking... Okay. Please treat Garar now a little bit. Uh, where is Toxo? Come on. Treat the Huntsman. What are you doing? Okay. We got the... We got... <laughs> we're gonna have to kill Vance at this rate, I think. Jesus Christ. If only you could eat bullets. Okay, we got the meat from the timber wolf. And it's good. Carol can make some meals now. Don't! Oh my god. Carol almost just fucking ate raw meat. Don't! Don't! A construction engineer named Frank Scotty McDonald calls you from nearby. He's being chased by tribespeople from the Green Mesa Federation. He begs for safety. I'm ignoring it. I don't have enough food to feed anybody. Let alone that guy. Who's being chased by raiders. Okay? Don't you fucking dare! Nobody touch this meat. We're making meals with this meat, okay? Hey, make... Sips and this check the tomb in the mountain for food. What do you get when you try to kill Vance? Eaten. Oh, God. Man, that timber wolf gave a lot of meat, though. Carol, what the fuck? Sips, don't be a fucking night jet. They carry the bodies out there because extracting the cummies from the dead is a messy process. Ooh, sips. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that's, that's no, I, I see. All right, Huntsman, come and pick up your sniper rifle, you fucking idiots, and you as well, Garar. Come pick up your shit too. Are they dying? No. Okay, he's got a scratch nose apparently. Huntsman, how are you doing? Nose, right eye, and torso has been all scratched up from that. We're gonna have to kill the muffalo, I think. It's still really cold out. A little bit too cold. The snow is not melting. Our colonists are really fucking dumb. They can't shoot. Um, it, it takes like more than one of them to take down a timber wolf. One guy with the sniper rifle was unable to take down the timber wolf. 
And then somebody else with a survival rifle was not able to take down the timber wolf. And then somebody turned up with a handgun and took down the timber wolf. And then spent about three hours shooting at the dead timber wolf's body to try to, to finish it off. And, uh, and for all that, we made meals and we ate them. And now there's no more food left because for some reason there's still, it's still like minus 15 degrees out here in the spring. And the snow hasn't melted and we're, we're out of food and the whole colony is going to starve and die now. Oh wait, there's a mad animal on the loose. What could it be? Oh great, it's a fox. <laughs> Okay, everybody, stay inside. Cassin, get back inside. We're not messing around with this fox, okay? We're gonna just let it... No, Toxo, hide in indoors. Let Vance deal with it. Okay, Vance. No, Vance. Hey, look, there it goes. It just bypassed us. Okay, I tell you what, though. Let's get a couple of cheeky shots off at it, though. Yeah. Oh, run. Run back indoors now, Cassin, please. Okay, Toxo, now unleash the puppies. That's right. Okay, come on, Vance and Izel. Go get it. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yes. Okay, Toxo is now meleeing the fox. Vance and Izel. Landale. You motherfucker. You're gonna get killed by the- Okay, Landale is, is down. Good. Okay, let's rescue Landale. Good. This- Great. Okay. We got a fox now, too. Landale went on a berserker spree, but, um, Izel took a- Landale is- Oh, I see. Huntsman now has gone insane. Alright, we know what to do. Come on. Come on, pups. <laughs> oh. Take him down, Toxo. Take him down. He's a terrible shot. You have nothing to... Okay, good. Rescue him. Okay, wonderful. Okay, Huntsman's been taken down as well. Nice. Okay, Huntsman. It's gonna slowly recover. Okay, so we had a, an animal go berserk. And also, Landale and Huntsman both went berserk as well. Probably because they have to share a room. They're probably not too happy about it. BW, Garar. Oh, yeah. We could probably do with getting rid of that big double bed. Oh, shit, Caro. Fuck off, you fucking dumb cunt. Holy shit. Caro just fucking ate raw fox meat. What a fucking idiot. We need materials, apparently. We don't have enough stuff to don't eat the raw meat thank you oh bw don't fucking do it oh wait it didn't get <gasps> he didn't get food poisoning merry christmas okay there's a squirrel here that this squirrel might save us possibly oh shit fuck i totally like have not been paying attention to the time and i have to go okay we'll continue tomorrow i i don't think we're gonna survive for very long though Fucking save and quit. Okay. Alright. Sorry, guys, for the abrupt ending, but I have to go. Stop feeding all the food while training animals. Ah, fuck. I know. I need to do... I need to take it off, but whatever. Um, Siegecast, thanks for the donation. Bobby D 17 thanks for the donation as well. Also, Siegecast, thanks again for the donation. And Jacob, thanks for the donation. And Bobson Games, thanks very much for the bits too. DMC GINVT, thanks for the three month resub as well. Um, I will be back uh, tomorrow, probably in the afternoon. We're recording, pardon me, Triforce and stuff in the morning, but uh, I should be around in the. I'm like, I can't believe Barry Manilow's gay. God. I'd be gay with him. He looks, um, he's had a lot of work done, hasn't he? Anyway. Okay. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, like I said. Um, thanks very much for all the donations and the subs, as usual. I appreciate it. Um, 
and uh and thanks for being here to watch me get mad at Rimworld and all these fucking um stupid colonists who are are terrible and stuff but um yeah thank you very much and um have a good night and stuff and um i'll see you uh tomorrow okay yeah i know i'm late i'm really late i gotta go make dinner and stuff now my kids won't go to bed until like midnight and stuff fuck it's gonna be terrible it's gonna be pretty bad uh but it, it should be fine as well okay well thanks everybody and um i will see you tomorrow okay bye good night Good night. I'm going to run ads while I leave, okay? I hope that's okay. All right. See you later. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye 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 b